name's STEM Network, and today we're going to do a review on the Tilted Twister. Right now, I'll put on the program. It goes through its startup sequence. It waits till the motor can't turn anymore. And on the display, it says, give me a cube. And now it says, thank you. So it goes to start scanning it. And this arm both flips it, and it will hold it after it scans all nine cubies on all six sides. Takes a couple of minutes, like a minute to do this, 45 seconds. This is its last time. And now, on the display, I don't know if you can see that, but it's thinking of solutions. There we go. You can see the solutions. Right now it's 50, 59, and 60. And now, that's what it's used to hold for, too. And the ultrasonic sensor detects when you put the cube in. Yeah. And it makes me feel like this is watching what it does. It just looks like that. trouble downloading the program and my friend got the program so I brought my NXT over to his house and he got the program. It's got 32 moves to go and a move is a flip and hold. One flip and one hold. Yeah, before, when I built it, I built it incorrectly. I built the scanner part incorrectly, and I also built the arm incorrectly. And I'll show you what it looked like when I built it incorrectly after solving it. With the scanner part, it was this, it was this part that was missing right there, was that little part. And with the arm, I had built the mechanism for flipping incorrectly. So I guess I don't have to show you at the end of the video. 20 moves to go. Twelve moves to go. And the first time that it solved it, because I had built this correctly, it it's like at the end. I'll, I'll show you what it, I'll show you what I did at the end. It's a little funny, it's really funny what I did. 
seven moves to go. Not many. Four moves to go. And it solved it, everybody. Tilted Twister, the Rubik's Cube Solving Robot. Woo! This is William Stem Network. Bye.